What is up my XRP brothers from another mother and my cute XRP sisters. This is Rob with the XRP 007 channel coming to you from beautiful Venice Island. Another gorgeous day down at the beach, five out of five. And the title of this episode is XRP holders, let's get ready to rumble. We are go for launch, buckle up my buttercups because I tell you what, we are truly sitting on the launch pad. Watch this episode to the end, I will tell you why. And if indeed, if you are interested in getting a yield on your XRP or other crypto assets, all you gotta do is two things. One is follow me down below on Twitter in the description, not the comments where the imposter there lies. Uh, and also just reach out to me on Twitter and say, hi Rob, I'm interested, I will reach out to you. What I love about it is like waking up to big tall green candles in the morning. What's not to like about and that ain't a bad thing ka-ching ka-ching and uh thank you as well as all uh, for the likes subs and comments uh we're only about 300 subs away from reaching 9,000. not that far off so if indeed if you are new to this channel if you would hit the subscribe button to subscribe the bell for notification that like button tap it slap it whatever you are feeling for a monday slap the sucker we're going to get this party started in a mighty fine way and i want to begin this episode with a very special happy birthday to tara over in France. She turns a lovely 12 years old today. And I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day. Have a slice of cake for me. And also she has the record for me as being the youngest XRP holder that I know at 12 years old. Uh, that is absolutely, make it a great day. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I also want to do a shout out to Dave and Della up in Ont Ont Ontario, Canada. And uh, and, and to answer the question, uh, why do you hold and who do you have to thank for holding your XRP? As for Dave and Della, can you say, you can't make this up, a raccoon? <laughs> Don't believe it is true. They had a raccoon that had gotten into their uh, house, uh, I think their house. And so they had a gentleman come over to remove said raccoon. And he's saying, yeah, I'm doing this for right now, but I'm going to be filthy rich in the future. And I won't be doing this. And they're like, uh, you have my undivided attention. What you got? So uh, look forward to actually, uh, and, and I think they're going to name, they might be naming their, their yacht. Uh, it all started with a raccoon. Gotta love it. I look forward to meeting you once you find and settle into Southwest Florida in my neck of the woods. Cannot wait. And also a shout out to Michelle out in Nebraska. I'm going to dub you the Crypto Princess of Nebraska because she selfishly, uh, educates other people about this uh, space, sets up their wallets. I can't tend to setting up my own wallets much as somebody else's. So uh, that is a very altruistic endeavor. So many, many of your friends and other co-workers uh, owe you a big vote of gratitude and thanks for that uh, effort that you put in there. Coming by Edwin says, a few weeks away from New Year's Eve, do you like this XRP rocket or shall I do it for you, Rob? Because uh, the big boom, uh, and it's going to be in everybody's episode from uh, once that does happen. Yes, the XRP rocket, exactly what we're going to be talking about in this episode as well. And also Bruce over in the comments says, my motto, I want to be the youngest old guy I know. Got to love it. <laughs> I like how you think. And for me, it's like my motto has always been, I always wanted to have more fun in business than anybody else I know while I made money. And uh, in, in short, make your passion, your profession, everything will work itself out. And I'll also one of the last two other little comments as well. Uh, comment, uh, thank you to uh, Min Ling over in uh, Vietnam. Uh, she also goes by YouTube Views, by YouTube Views. Thank you so much for your consistent comments on the site. Uh, so sweet of you. And yes, uh, flattery will get you everywhere. And also Brent, a speedy, speedy recovery to you, my brother from another mother. Uh, I know that you'll do strong and you are actually Superman. Uh, I, I really look up to you and uh, how you have tackled life during these trying times. And uh, you know the economy is bad when you go into Publix to buy tin foil and it costs $14 for tin foil. Uh, that's where you start to say, well, what can you make out of that? A tin foil cap? Uh, in 24 hours cryptos, uh, this is great. Just up on the thumbnail. Didn't have time to watch his video. Sorry about that, buddy. But he says, and, and so I don't have an answer for this. He says, tokenizing just 30% of four asset classes means that we can see an XRP of, wait for it, $600? Is that juicy or what? Get out your calculator. I'm going to get mine out later on that one. And this is huge, huge, huge. 
Uh, and again, just once again, just kind of just every single day, XRP is unstoppable. Ripple is unstoppable. This freight train has indeed left. This bullet train has indeed left the station. In the news, this is Zodia joins uh, Medico's crypto storage, which is owned by Ripple. And uh, cryptos, uh, they joined Medico's crypto network. And guess who backs Zodia? Can you stay, say, Standard Charter Bank? And they have about $52 billion worth of assets under management. In the news from Fin Extra, this is when we get down to the juicy stuff of today's episode. Because this is what we've all been waiting for, for the longest time, for the great reset, to see the old system ushered out the door and the new system you know, replaced, which will be the backbone of what XRP does in solving the world's problem. It says SWIFT connects instant payment systems to bring 24-7 cross-border payments with destined to go to the EU. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Enable payment process 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, we're getting closer and closer. Uh, and, you know, XRP is just getting prime ready and rumble. So, so they're getting all this kind of lined up, tested, everything ready to, dare I say, flip the switch. Don't believe it will happen. Maybe multiple switches to be flipped along the way. But guaranteed there will be one that you will wake up one day and have a OMG moment. And that's when you need that ice bucket and have someone be able to throw it onto you and then have the champagne ready, right? Uh, and a little TA down by the beach. Uh, this is from, I think it was eGrad Crypto, talking about BTC. Bitcoin dominance is to spur on altcoin boom as Bitcoin dominance is starting to fall and that money is rotating where into altcoins. You're starting to see altcoins popping off left and right. There's a lot of frustration as an XRP holder because you see Bitcoin has shot up. It shot well past 40, I think maybe it kissed 42K. And then you see all these uh, 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 different altcoins popping, meme coins popping, of course. And then we see our X XRP not really quite making move. We'll talk about that. And here's a key tip for everybody if you want to kind of know about how the time tops and 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 uh, as you know in XRP when we hit one of the good indicators. And you can't time tops, but this will kind of help you guys out. Is when Bitcoin dominance falls to around 35. By the time it hits right around 35, you should have your all your very top of XRP price if you want to make a mental note of that. Uh, as for me, I'm looking for we're kind of set this one back. And we're gonna do a little bit of going into crypto toes. All right. Over on Twitter says, What's happening? Morning dump, the big red candle. I'm not sure if you have seen it. I saw it too. Luckily I was not online. That would not be a lot of fun to be actually like in a trade watching it and see this big red candle keep going down, down, down. Because we had kissed 64 cents, beautiful, and then it just took this huge dump down to about 60 cents, 60 and a half, 61 cents. And uh, Crypto Toes chimes in and says, what happens with the dump in the big red candle? He says, well, guess what? Here's your clue. He says, uh, um, uh, XRP is retesting the launch pad. Well said. Uh, the launch pad that we had on that breakout one, that beautiful day, June 13th, when we got that summary judgment declaring XRP not a security, uh, the breakout point was right at 58 cents to 60 cents. So that was the breakout point. And kind of interesting note, when you zoom out and look back now, it's hard to believe that good grief, you know, we're, we're, we're about five months since that happened, you know, and and, uh, and thinking about what our price would have been. But to think that we shot all the way up to 94 cents and it shot past that breakout at 58 cents all the way down to about 48, 46. I got some in at 46 myself before she's gone back up. And then, you know, here we are. And so anyway, saying so that's the retest before the big money comes in and before the big moves. So what, we, what we're seeing is that um, this 60 cents will probably become our launch pad for XRP. And what that means, we can kind of calculate now kind of going forward, give or take, not financial advice, of where we're going to be from a 10x from here, $6, a 20x from here, $12, a 30x from here, $18, and a 50x from here. $30. So we'll talk about those in just a second too. So quote of the day, uh, this comes from Schwamos. It says, this bull run is not for Ethereum. This bull run is for the XRP ledger. Well said in Web3. It says, uh, XRP to hit, he goes on to say in his price prediction, $12 to $50. As for me, what I'm looking for, and I put it back three cards from here, from here was that one. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? 
We're sitting on the bottom. <laughs> yeah, there it is. I put it in the back. I said, I'm looking for this way. I'm going to take profit all along the way, not financial advice. How much I'll take it is unbeknownst to me, but I'd probably be minimal. Uh, I'll, I'll take bigger profits at bigger numbers. But yes, at $6, I'll take a little bit off at the top. Also, at a $12 XRP, $18, taking profit, taking profit. But really, the sweet spot for me is between that $15, $16 and a $30 XRP. I do think it'll hit $30, not financial advice. All right, so then we go into that was for that, that's for that. Plus, uh, just keep in mind, not only with this bull run, he's talking about XRP Ledger and Web3, but add to that, this bull run, what's different in this case, it will be a bull run that's a company, a company with real use uh, uh, utility price for XRP to go right alongside it because it's beginning now here in December, which is so, so, wow, exciting. <laughs> Check that. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, distraction, uh, 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 just, yeah, it's Christmas. All right, so anyway, so, um, but yeah, that's what we're looking at. Boy, I was I absolutely distracted. Institutional fresh money, there we go. Yeah, so, so not only that we'll have a utility price, but institutional fresh new old money. If you watched yesterday, when I say institutional money, new, new money coming into the market, which is actually old money. It's the, 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 the old, it's the baby boomers that have been sitting on the majority of the wealth in this country as well as other parts of the world, I imagine, as well. Those are the ones that would be coming to the table, along with the utility price, along with this, gosh, just so exciting. I think this bull run is going to be epic. And just wait till we get the settlement, OMG. Uh, and also, this to end this episode, we're going to have a little fun with this, because I really like this, just to get you pumped up, leaves me fired up, leaves me pumped up. This is from Barn. C over on Twitter says, uh, the fire up the troops, shall we? He says, uh, XRP to claim uh, $1 faster than anyone thinks. XRP to claim $3 faster than anyone thinks. By the way, the all time high here in the United States was not 384, 332. Here in the US, it was like more like $2.80. So XRP to reclaim $3 faster than anyone thinks. That's an all time high. XRP to skyrocket past $3 and $5 on its way to a $10 XRP. XRP will perform in ways no one will be able to anticipate. And also might I add to, add to that, when you least expect it. Uh, so many things that could happen, you know, he says, he goes on to say, people will be waiting for uh, a, a certain price, a piece of news, or a partnership. And might I add to that settlement? People sitting on their hands to buy in once the settlement happens. Good luck with that one, my friends, when that happens. And he goes on to say, he'd rather be on the sidelines. Uh, he'd rather be in XRP than on the sidelines. Uh, absolutely, because for me, the biggest risk is not holding XRP. That'll do it for me. Comment down below. I want to know what you guys think. Everybody have a great day. Peace out.